How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's having a good day today. Today is uh, Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Um, got off work not too long ago. Uh, this video is a little different. Not going to be a Buick video. It's going to be a truck video. So I'm giving you a heads up right now if you're watching it. Uh, if you watch it eventually, I appreciate it. But if not, it is what it is. Uh, this video is going to be a simple oil change on my truck. Uh, this is by no means is to be a how-to video. I don't want to insult people's intelligence. Um, changing oil is pretty basic. But if you don't, if you never did it on you know six, seven Cummins, five, nine Cummins, I mean it's the same procedures. I just show you how I change the oil and uh, go from there. Uh, I got stuff set up already, and we run you guys through it real quick. I'm working against daylight right now. I'm not gonna lie, sun's setting real quick, and I hate recording when it's dark just because I don't have good lighting out here. So I'm gonna get everything set up in position, or I'll run through everything I got, and then I'll go from there. All right, so I'll be back with you guys quick. All right, so real quick, running through, show you what I'm doing. I got my oil filter wrench. Uh, these are doggy pads, but I use them underneath this because this is a shallow pan. So if you see it's a shallow pan, so what happens is when you take the plug off, I'm learning, I'm talking from experience, <laughs> you take the plug off, it's going to splash the minute it, it hits it. So I place this un underneath around it so I don't get the the driveway all messed up with oil. Uh, I, w I went ahead this time, I'm testing out Shell's Rotella uh, T6 synthetic. I've used this on my last truck I used to have. I used to have a 6.0 power stroke and I used it on there. It worked uh, really well. Lately I've been using Valvoline on this truck just because it's more affordable and it, it, it actually works really good honestly. I can't complain. Um, but I just wanted to try something different so I'm going with Rotella on a Cummins. Never done that before. For the oil plug all you need is a 3 8 drive. I'm pretty sure it's 3 8 drive if not half inch. 3 8 drive uh, socket head. So in this case I got a 3 8 drive ratchet with an extension on it to get up on there and then over here I got an oil filter and a uh, another gallon of oil uh, I went with usually I run a Cummins filter but I went with Shell's Rotella just because I they didn't have any more Cummins filters at Walmart where I got it from and I didn't feel like driving around for it um, I feel like Shell's has a really good oil uh, program you know they work. They they got really good engineers and scientists and stuff when it comes to their oil development. So I trust the Rotella filter. Um, I'm only gonna run it for about five thousand, maybe seven thousand miles. So it's not like it's gonna destroy it. Uh, I don't do any crazy towing, hauling, or anything like that. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead. I'm rushing kind of to work with the sunlight. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up, um, get in position, and then we'll go from there. Okay. All right, people, I'm back just finish pop the oil cap off you don't have to do this pull out the dipstick a little bit I'm just I don't know I'm superstitious or whatever so I just pull it out so it can you know breathe better better took off the oil cap when I do oil changes on my Cummins I take out the right front inner fender inner fender uh, inner fender wheel well uh, reason being you get instant access to the oil filter right there and I can put my wrench on there, spin it, take it off, and everything. No tool, no fancy tool needed, nothing. Um, it's just a few of these little guys. These are going to be 8 millimeters uh, screws that hold them in. All you got to do is look. Look wherever the hole, you know, wherever they ha are held in at. Get an 8 millimeter socket or, you know, whatever. Take it off. And then just take your time, pop out the inner well. It takes like not even uh, 60 seconds. Take it out. And you're good, all right. Damn, look at that turbo. Look at that fat pipe, that five inch, that little fat ass right there. <laughs> all right, so continuing. Uh, I got my oil pan. I got my little doggy pad set up. Uh, I have the worst luck when it comes to oil changes because today it's windy and cold, and it's been rainy all week. So it's been pretty crappy weather here. Uh, underneath my truck looks disgusting. I apologize. I am gonna clean it as soon as I find out when we're okay. Gonna have I'm back again. I apologize for that. When I was recording, my camera just stopped recording. I don't know if I hit a button or what, but it, I was running my mouth and it stopped recording. So, pretty much all I left off was um, I'm going to go ahead and do it now. Let's get you guys set up here. Uh, yeah, I got get you guys set up there and you guys see me move around. Probably gonna hear me curse or get very mad because I'm gonna spill oil. 
I don't even know if you guys can hear me right now because of the wind. I need a wind mic. Hopefully you guys can see me. And the oil's already warm. Uh, it's, and I, let, I gave it time to settle. So we ain't got to worry about nothing like that. I go ahead and come, come up over here. Ooh, ooh, all that dirt getting on me. Yep, it, it, so it is a 3.8 uh, for the oil plug size. I just couldn't remember. Hell yeah, that was super easy. I just couldn't remember what size it was because I haven't done an oil change in a minute. And I'll have a story behind it all. I will tell you, I will tell you guys once, uh, shit, let me make sure I get this in the right position. I hope I don't get oil on the camera. That's a bad day. Alright guys, get ready to see oil splash off, get all on my hand, on my hand, and you know what I'm saying? It's about to come. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Nice. Way better. One second, I just gotta clean my hand and grab the mic or the camera. God damn it. Dude, one thing you can't get past is black diesel. Uh, one second, let me grab the camera and get you guys fixed. Alright, so, took off the thing. Good old Earl is drying. You guys see it back there leaking. I'm going to let that dry, drain for a minute, and then once that's finished draining, I will come back to you guys. Put I'm gonna put the plug back in, and then we'll come over here to the uh, oil filter side so I can show you guys how I'm doing, how I'm taking that off. All right, BRB. All right, I got you guys set up now. So if you can see it, oil filter, this guy right here. Uh, this looks like any oil filter for a car, unless it's like a European car or, or a 6.0. Ford where it has a cartridge style filter uh, pretty much you have so much easy you have such easy access to this filter when you take out that splash cover now I know fourth gen Cummins they come with a, a little cutout and you know oil thing and all sorts of stuff but if you got a third gen and back or if you got a third gen and you can you dealing with the same you know configuration I am this is gonna be your best bet man take this out save a ton of time I'm first I'm gonna see if I can spin it by hand Just like I figured. Sometimes I have to mess around with this and I F that up bad. My bad YouTube. That's not how you do it. Cause I just spilled Yep, I just spilled a shit ton of oil on the driveway. So I knew if something was gonna happen. So what you should have done or could have done was go underneath and your hand can reach straight up on the bottom of the filter and you can get it out um, and bring it down. I should have done that. I was rushing and now I made a mistake. So learn from it, move on. Sweet. All right, so I got this out. I'm gonna go ahead and move this. One more thing I forgot to mention on, uh, on the oil filter, when you take it off, you wanna make sure that you, you wanna make sure that, uh, God damn it. You wanna make sure that the seal there's a rubber seal around there. You want to make sure that that guy's uh, also still attached to it and not stuck on here, because the last thing you need you need is you go to put the new filter on. Now you double stacking filters. You start your truck and you're pissing brand new clean oil out of your damn oil filter housing, especially for you guys that buy expensive oil like Royal Purple and Amsoil and all that mess. So just just keep that in mind. It's a little wicked. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and uh, going to pause it, get the oil plug back in on the bottom. I got a funny story I'll tell you guys later about that. Get the oil plug back in. I'm going to get the new filter. I'm going to pre-fill it with some oil, and then we'll get back. We'll get back from there. Be right back. All right. I don't know if you guys know the trick when it comes to oh all right so let me slow down <laughs> uh, pre-filling the oil filter 
you want to pre-fill it just because you don't want a dry oil filter because then one you can have a cavitated oil filter meaning it pretty much internally sucks itself in it's kind of like the opposite or I guess I don't know if a relapse is when it goes out or in but it's pretty much it's going to cavitate it's going to crush suck itself in because it's dry and there's no oil in there so you always want to pre pre-fill your oil filter uh, you don't have to do a crap ton you can just do you know half three quarters I usually get about three quarters reason being is because depending on your truck model or your vehicle you might have to put that oil filter in a tight spot so you know uh, don't top it off until it's goddamn you know overfilling when you first fill it up it's gonna rise up real quick and then it's gonna go back down let it settle uh, don't forget to use some uh, oil and coat the seal the gasket you want to make sure you coat that that way it sticks to it has a good seal uh, up against the oil filter housing and also you it'll, you know keep it from getting dry rotted or anything which I've never seen ever happen before so just you know the basic stuff and like I said before this video is not for a professional mechanic it's not for it's really just entertainment purposes um this is no this is by no means supposed to be the textbook way of changing the oil this is how I do it it works for me whatever works for you works for you keep doing what you do and what makes you happy you know what I'm saying so real quick I'm just sticking my finger in here I got some oil you ain't gotta go you ain't gotta go crazy you know just just a little bit and just get get that seal wet um, on the aircrafts we work on when it comes to fuel if you guys didn't know whenever you're working on fuel for your cars and stuff if you got gaskets and o-rings and stuff a good a good lubricant for them is petroleum uh, get you a bottle of you know Walmart brand GV petroleum and coat all your o-rings and stuff if it's fuel if it's not fuel just any type of oil grease anything really is going to be fine uh, I think I'm going to add a little more to it after seeing it so right now uh oh so right now it's about halfway uh, it's about halfway that's going to be good enough it's starting to get a little reckless so I'm going to go through the front of the truck up underneath straight up and I'm going to twist this bad boy on alright so I will get back to you once I do that. All right, so the filter's installed. Now it's gonna be time to fill her up. I'm gonna get the camera set up and we're gonna go to the top and I'll show y'all what we're doing. All right, you guys, I'm back. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, I'm about to put the oil in. I got the drain plug in, uh, drain plugs in, oil filter's on, oil filter's primed, like you guys knew. Um, I got three gallons of Shell's Rotella. One thing I am going to add to this though is a heavy duty oil stabilizer from Lucas. Uh, I personally love using this stuff. I think it's really good. Uh, even if your engine's not hurting or in bad shape, just to keep it good, I think it's good. Um, I like using this stuff. It's simple. You would pretty much replace a quart of oil with this because this is one quart. So if your truck takes, in this case, I think it's what, three gallons is equivalent to 12 quarts. So you put 11 quarts of regular oil and then you put a quart of this. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to put this first because this probably takes a little longer to put in just because it's super thick. I'm pretty sure it's thick if I can remember. I haven't, put, I haven't used one of these in a minute. Or I haven't used one on this truck yet. I used to use it on my last truck all the time when I changed the oil. So we're going to put this guy in. And I should have taken. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, yeah, this stuff's thick. So I won't need a funnel for this because this is pretty much its own funnel. When I say I love, I mean I love Cummins. Like this truck right here is gonna be the truck I'm gonna be driving when I'm in my 50s. You know, you know, Lord's will. Um, I love this thing, man. This truck is awesome. I've never, I have no complaints about it. Um, it is a 6.7, so it came with that Blue Tech, you know, DPF crap. I got rid of that, thank God, because my it was killing this engine. Um, but yeah, man. I love this truck. This truck is where it's at. It's so much easier to work on. It's super, when I say super, I'm talking like low maintenance, not pulling into the dealership every month on the tow truck. This is it right here. You know what I'm saying? This is the truck. Uh, I had a, I had a 460, and I know you're probably saying, well, a 60 is a horrible, is a horrible, you know, truck to use to compare to and stuff. But hey, at the same time, it's a diesel truck. It was made by Ford. 
granted the engine wasn't at the time uh, it's a four truck and I had my sh my <laughs> my fair shares with a 60 diesel but I tell you what man I'm I don't see myself going back to Chevy going to Chevy or going back to Ford so I'm, I'm convinced right now uh, this is the way of life this is the way it's supposed to be you know so yeah I'm loving it this truck is my baby I cherish her every day I take care of her you know um, I make sure if something's wrong with her which knock on wood and all that stuff there she has been awesome you know I change the oil I get the DPF to lead and just basic stuff man and she she lasts she runs just checking the dipstick level right now I don't even know if you guys can see can you oh yeah you can it's pretty good lighting Ain't bad. I'm just checking the level right now see where we're at on oil um, I know it hasn't fully settled yet so we are looks like we're in good Oh yeah, we're safe. I'm gonna check it one more time just because I'm cautious like that, but it, it honestly says safe on it. <laughs> I'm gonna check it one more time just to be sure because it's dark out here. I want to make sure I'm not messing nothing up. Plus, when I start in the oil pressure, depending on you know if it's low oil pressure, then you know you got problems. But if it's too low, it probably won't even start. Actually, it won't start. Oh yeah, man, we're good. Shoot, I think I'm just gonna add that. Actually, no, because it's gonna rise up more when I, the rest of the oil settles. I was about to add the rest of that oil to it, shoot. I'm just letting this rest of this stuff come out. Well, I think that's it now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm happy with this, man. This is what I'm talking about, boys. I love it. Alright, so. Alright. Crank her up. She's doing fine. Uh, good oil pressure, no leaks. Everything's good, just the way it's supposed to be. I gotta throw that piece, of, or that, have to throw that in, and then I gotta cover this up. But everything looks good, boys. So we're gonna go ahead and girls, sorry, and girls. Yeah, uh, everything's good. I'm gonna go ahead, get this done, and then end out this video. Hey, boys and girls, that is a wrap. Uh, it's dark as hell outside now. There's no light out there. Uh, but that's it. That's the Cummings oil change, man. Uh, sorry that this isn't... I gotta clean that filter out. <laughs> sorry this wasn't the lavish, you know, studio, whatever, whatever film. But it got the job done, man. I'll tell you that much. Uh, you can see that new filter in there. Hey, look at that white filter back there. That's a Rotella filter, but it is what it is. You know, so... No leaks, good oil, added some Lucas additive into it. Gonna go ahead and end this video. Alright. Yo, if you stuck around for this video at the end, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. I appreciate you checking out this channel. Uh, if you stuck it out. If not, you know, no biggie, no, it is what it is. Uh, this video was, it was spur of the moment. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't thoroughly planned. Uh, a lot of videos I do or most videos I do, I have everything planned, lined up, uh, I have a clear a clear thought of what I'm going to do. Uh, it wasn't like that this time, it was kind of like, hey, good weather today, I haven't posted anything in a minute, I'm going to do this, and that's what I ended up doing. Let me know if you, got, if you guys liked the video, um, let me know, uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, so that is it, I changed the oil in the Cummings, so that's done now. Uh, next mod coming up is going to be the crankcase delete, along with the uh, intake manifold install um, hopefully I'm hoping we have good weather this Saturday um, I haven't checked it yet but hopefully we have good weather Saturday that way I can get it, get it done early in the morning and then be able to have the video chopped up edit all that good stuff and then have it out by like the evening afternoon this frame time uh, if you enjoyed this video do me a favor hit that thumbs up hit that like uh, button it helps out tremendously YouTube came out with some new algorithms again um, pretty much, I no longer, and I really didn't make anything before, but I no longer am going to get paid for my videos. Uh, they came out with a new, uh, new, I guess, standards for it. Uh, pretty much, you got to have a thousand subscribers and you got to have four thousand hours of watch time within a year. Um, I don't really care about that. 
I was just trying to do it for fun. Uh, I think the most I made so far was like $2.65. So it is what it is. I'm doing this because entertainment. And I think it's cool recording what I do and putting it out and seeing what people say. Because then they put stuff out. I check it out. And it's just a community. Um, we got the old school car community here. You know, we got different people interested in that. And then we got the truck community. Uh, I think it's cool if I can be able to bring them together through the power of the internet and videos and whatnot. So I think it's awesome. Uh, awesome stuff. Um, what else? Yeah, that's really it, man. Let me know what you guys think about this video. It's a little different. It's a truck video. I know you guys aren't used to truck videos and stuff like that. So if if you like it, thumbs up. You know, if not, just be like, yo, Cam, I wasn't feeling it. No harm, no foul. It's all good. So you guys have a good night. Stay blessed. Be safe. I will see you guys hopefully this weekend with new content uploaded. Uh, until next time, though.